Hi, in our previous video, we have seen how to draw a chart using Canvas.js library. In this video, we are going to study how to customize the chart using Canvas.js library. We will see customization of labels, titles, how to animate, how to apply theme and how to render multiple series data. So let us start with column chart customization. What do we mean by customizing? Customizing is nothing but setting the properties or an attribute value of chart object. Now, what are the different chart object? Chart objects are nothing but they are the parts of the chart. For example, label of an axis, x axis, label of y axis, the value that are appearing over the y axis can be formatted or the chart of the title or the, the chart title can be uh, displayed over above the chart or below the chart towards the left, center or right. So all these things are nothing but setting up a property or an attribute. We have to pass these properties as an option in a constructor. So while creating this chart object, we are making use of different properties. Very first property is the label of a chart. Now, what do we mean by label? There are two types of label in a chart. First label is the X and Y axis label. And second type of label is index label. Axis label are displayed over the axis. For example, over the X axis, I would like to display some region like North, East, West and South. Over the y-axis, I would like to display labels like $200, $100, $5,000 and so on. So these axis labels can be customized. Second type of labels are nothing but index label. The value of a bar can be displayed above it or inside bar itself. So that can, that is index label and that too can be customized. So let us see where the exact property you will write to customize this. So first let us understand this chart. You need to prepare this chart using canvas.js. The method to display a chart is discussed in our previous video. The only portion you need to alter is nothing but data portion. Within that also, the specifically data points has to be changed. Now, within this data point, notice that we do not have X and Y component. Because over X axis, we are no longer interested to see a scale from 0 to 100. We are here, are more interested to see the categories. Here, for example, categories or the columns are labeled as in apples, mangoes, oranges, grapes and banana. Ultimately, these are the fruit categories. So, these categories are individually for each column is marked using label property. And this label property is specified inside data point property. When you are giving one object as y equal to 10, same time after putting comma, you are giving another label to the same object that is to the same column as apple. If you notice carefully, these labels are even customized. That means their appearance is not horizontal or the simple. They are rotated in some way. And they are more smaller or bigger than the regular text. So how that can be done? So while you are specifying title property, comma, data property, between this or even after this, just put comma after title property and start a new property called axis y. Axis y property is for customizing your y axis and after giving y property opening and closing bracket, just put comma and give axis x property. Now, access x property, colon, opening and closing bracket, don't forget to put comma because next property is your data property. Now, within access x property, note that we have specified one setting as label angle. 
Now this label angle is nothing but that reason why your text appears in slant. Negative angles are reversing or having the angles like this. But positive angles will rotate your text in this way. That means A will be over the top and P, P, L, E, S towards the down. So the angle will change if you give positive negative. I suggest you to practice this positive and negative values by yourself so you can notice the difference. Now, as you can see, y-axis labels are appearing more broader or more in size as compared to x-axis label. So, over the y-axis setting, we are giving force to setting as a label font size. So, label font size will be 20 pixel. Here it is by default 12 or 10 pixel, whatever the default setting is there. The second setting is the label font color as dim green. Otherwise, it would be having simple gray. You can change its value to some any color like blue, green, red of your choice. So these two properties can also be used inside XSX and this label angle can also be used inside lay axis Y and vice versa. But make sure you apply only those settings to those axes where you actually would like to see them. So changes these settings. Now adding something more making your charts more customizable that is giving some labels to access my x-axis even though it is understood that these are the fruits i want to label it that axis x is fruits axis and even though it is understood that y value is some numeric i want to precise that it is the price of a particular fruit 10 kgs per 10 kgs and this price ultimately is in dollars. So notice this y-axis, it is having value starting with dollar followed by its value 10, 20, 30 and whatever it is. So over the y-axis property only, we are adding something called as prefix step. So this prefix value is the sign that you would like every value to preside with. So every value is starting with dollar. So prefix is this case is dollar. If you want every price to be in rupees, your prefix should be in double quotes, the sign of rupees. And the title of this complete x axis is specified as with the help of setting title colon in double quotes price per 10 kgs. Now by default, y-axis title is vertically aligned and by default, x-axis title is horizontally aligned. They are in coordinates with their own axis. You do not need to change them. Now the, we will talk about index label. Now index labels are those labels which appears over the bar. So there are two positions where you can write index label. One is just above this index or second thing you can write it inside this bar. So to do this by specifying the label itself, that means when I am specifying Y is 30 and label is grapes, my index label should be best seller. So this column should be labeled as the best seller label. The color of this particular label can be changed with by putting comma and using another property index label font color red and the orientation that means you want this text to be horizontal or in vertical that can be done inside index label orientation the possible values are horizontal and vertical you can practice these and notice the difference between the two Second thing, next thing you can customize is the placement. Whether you want to put this index label inside the column or an outside the column. So that can be also done with the help of values inside or outside. This complete settings are only applicable by you are displaying or where you are show, giving input a single data point. And that data point is nothing but opening and closing parenthesis, which is supplying your Y value and your label value.
Now we will see titles in a chart. So whatever the title of the chart is by default displayed on top of the chart and in the center. You can change its position. You can style them. What are the styling techniques? So while we are specifying our very first property that is the title, we, are, we have only given text to title that is styling the title that is my title. But that will be displayed very simple normal text. If I want to change its color, I will make use of font color property. You can specify any color name or its hexadecimal value. You can change its size to new size with the help of font size property. The padding and margin of the title can also be changed. Now, there is a difference between padding and margin. The padding is the distance between the border of a title and the text of a title. So, this black border and this S is having the distance in between them as 10. That is called as padding. The margin is the distance between the border of the text or a title and the border of a chart. So this chart ends somewhere from there 15 pixel, uh, 15 pixel we have to leave and then only we have to show the title. So the margin is outside the border and padding is inside the border of a title. Now background color of this particular title is set using background color property. The thickness of border is given by border thickness property. Value can be 1, for one, 2, 3, 4, up to 10 so to display the thickness in pixel. The corner of the radius, as you can see this border is not a simple rectangle but a rounded rectangle. So that portion which can uh, change the corner of this title is nothing but the corner radius. That can be set with the help of property corner radius colon 5. Font weight can be bold. By default simple title will be displayed but if you want to highlight it you can make it bold, bolder, italic and so on. So that is nothing but font weight. Now if I want to change the placement of title, I must take it from for example top to down and I want to display towards the right. So we have two other properties within title is vertical align. Vertical align can be top, bottom or center. In this example, I want my title from the to the uh, bottom of my chart that's why vertical align is given as bottom otherwise if you see the title placement even though it is in bottom it is towards the left so that setting can be applied using horizontal align colon left possible values are left center and right you can try different permutation and combination of these values and see the difference in your resulting chart. Now other attributes that can be useful to customize your chart are interactivity enabled. That means while hovering over to particular chart, do you want to display a tooltip or not. To enable or to disable, we use interactivity enabled is equal to true or false respectively to enable and disable them. Second thing is animation. Animation in chart is by default disabled. So we can enable an animation in a chart with the help of animation enabled property is equal to true. We can also specify the duration of animation, how much time it will take to completely render a chart in an animated way. Like in 1 second, complete chart should be painted or animated or in 5 second, chart will be painted. So that is nothing but animation duration. Theme of a chart can be also changed. So the combinations and colors used to display the bar can also be changed. The background of 
chart is by default white if you are using light theme. If you are using dark theme, by default the chart background color will be black. But if you want to change it explicitly, you can change it with the help of background color. Now let us add one more dimension to our column chart. Let us see our data in a multiple series way. So instead of having data of um, apples which is sold in some dollars for each 10 kgs, we have now quarter sales. Quarter 1 sales of some fruits and quarter 2 sales of some fruits. And in each quarter, we have sell, we have sold them for different values or for different price. So as you can see, banana is in first quarter sold in $58 and banana in the second quarter is sold for $63. So, quarter 1 values must be displayed in one color column and quarter 2 values must be displayed in another color column. So, we can compare the quarter value of each and every fruit separately. Now, how to do this? So, this is your data part where we are specifying one data series. The type of column you want. The name of the quarter is the first quarter and the data points are banana with 58, orange with 69, apple with 80, mango with 74 and grape with 64. After completion of this curly bracket, we will put one comma. We will simply copy and paste this complete code and create another series. Now this series is also a must get displayed over the chart in a column type. So type will be column itself. The name of quarter will be now second quarter instead of first quarter. Data points, the complete format will be same for banana, orange, apple, mango and grape. The only thing that is going to change over here is the Y value. The Y value for banana must be from second quarter column of your actual data table. It was in first quarter 58, in second quarter it was $63. Orange was sold in first quarter $69 and in second quarter it is sold for $73. So likewise you will put a complete second data series. It is very simple. You are just copy and pasting this curly braces. Just don't forget to put comma between these two data series. Otherwise, you won't be able to see it on your web page. So, thank you everyone for watching this video. In today's video, we have covered how to customize your chart with titles, labels and data, multiple data series.